Welcome back, my dear students. Last class we have discussed in detail on the limiting section or a balance section. So today's lecture we will be we will be discussing the under reinforced and over reinforced section. So I'll just just give you a recap of what we have discussed in the last class. That is a balance section. So here a balance section means what? The reinforcement, the area of reinforcement will be provided in such a way that the strain in concrete. and the strain in steel reaches its maximum value simultaneously and that xu limit or xu value is called as xu limit or xu max or xu max and the corresponding ast is called as ast limit and the corresponding ast is called as ast limit so this was what we had discussed last class and we know in order to take the uh, moment of resistance the equation is mu is equal to q f c k b d square in terms of concrete and in terms of steel it is 0.87 f y a s t into d minus 0.42 x u max or x u limit is it this is what he has said in the last class now we are going to see what do you mean by under reinforced and over reinforced section under reinforced section if i am considering a section like this this is a case of a Balance section. This is the case of a balance section, and the corresponding neutral axis is depth is x u limit. The corresponding depth of neutral axis is called as x u limit. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to reduce the number of bars, or I am reducing the area of steel. So, what I am going to do here, here is I am going to reduce the area of steel. I'll reduce the area of steel such that what will happen? The steel area is reduced. This is steel. I will reduce the area of steel. I have reduced the area of steel such that now it is not AST limit. Now it is what? It is AST is less than what? AST limit. Here AST is less than AST limit. So what will happen? Definitely, the neutral axis will sh get shifted towards the compression side because the area of tension steel is reduced. As a result, the neutral axis will get shifted. Towards the upper side, isn't it? So that we'll we'll draw it like this. Neutral axis will get shifted towards the upper side. We'll see it like this. So I could I could draw now according to your first assumption in limb state of flexure, the plane section remains plane even before and after bending, which means the strain variation is linear. When the strain concrete reaches somewhere here, if I draw the strain variation, if I draw the strain variation, it will be it will be linear like this. It will be linear like this. And the strain in concrete uh, steel will be here. Suppose when the strain in now when the strain in concrete reaches somewhere here, strain in concrete reaches somewhere here. If I draw the linear variation, if I draw the linear variation, the strain in steel will be somewhere here. Now, when the strain in concrete reaches somewhere here, strain in concrete reaches somewhere here, the strain in steel reaches its maximum. That is, I could say that the strain in concrete hasn't reached reached its maximum, but the strain in steel has reached its maximum and which means after this strain that is after the strain of 0.002 plus 0.87 this is 0.87 this is 0.87 fy by e is what will happen what will happen the reinforcement starts yielding that is way before the concrete reaches its maximum strain the steel reaches its maximum and it starts yielding that is when the concrete reaches its maximum suppose when the concrete reaches its maximum the steel has reached somewhere here the steel has reached somewhere here that is it has already yielded now this type of section where the area of steel the area of steel is less than the area of steel required for a balanced section is called as a under reinforced section here i could write here i could write xu is less than x u is less than x u limit isn't it i could write x u is less than x u limit and here the mode of failure will be will be due to yielding of yielding of reinforcement which means when the reinforcement yields as you know the reinforcement is a ductile material there will be sufficient time that is even after this point even after this point even after this point what will happen there will be sufficient yielding of the reinforcement and such a way that we will get sufficient time to do the repair work that is it will show some yielding as a result some cracks will be formed in the uh, uh, reinforced concrete the crack will be formed in the member and we will understand that the section has yielded or the reinforcement has yielded now what happens if it is the concrete is coming first the strain in concrete is becoming 
or coming uh, at its maximum for the first then what happens there occurs a brittle failure because the concrete is brittle in nature when compared to what reinforcement and as a result a sudden failure will take place so i have told you there was one assumption that at the time of failure the strain in concrete must not be less than must not be less than 0 0.002 plus 0 0.002 plus 0.87 fy by years i told you at that time we will discuss in detail later because this is being ensured because at the time of failure it should be the strain in steel should be greater than 0 0.002 plus it should be greater than 0 0.002 plus 0.87 fy by years that is we should always prefer an under reinforced section because it, the section will be ductile if the ductile ductile section means what there will be sufficient time there will be sufficient time even if the structure starts to collapse because the ductile failure is not a sudden failure now the next type of section is an over reinforced section i am having a balanced section like this so the corresponding depth of neutral axis is x u image now what i am going to do is i am going to add one more reinforcement over here i am going to add one more reinforcement over here so definitely what is going to happen the neutral axis will get shifted towards the area of steel that is towards the tension side as a result i could say here i could say here here ast is ast is greater than ast limit right ast is greater than ast limit that is ast required for a this was the ast required for this is ast limit so this ast here is greater than ast limit and what happens to the neutral axis neutral axis will get shifted towards the tension side that is i will draw the neutral axis somewhere here i will draw it like this the neutral axis will get shifted towards the tension side the neutral axis will get shifted towards the neutral tension side so now if i draw the strain variation as you know the strain variation is linear so when the strain in concrete reaches somewhere here strain in concrete reaches somewhere here if i am drawing if i am drawing it will be like this now when the strain in concrete is somewhere here somewhere here the strain in steel will be here now when the strain in concrete reaches its maximum when the strain in concrete reaches its maximum the strain in steel is still not reached its its maximum that is 0 0.002 plus 0.87 fy by es which means here the section will fail by reaching the maximum allowable stress for your concrete which means a brittle failure will take place which means a sudden failure will take place as an engineer we should always avoid a sudden failure because there won't be ample time for you to escape when there occurs a failure so in an over reinforced section what happens the strain in concrete reaches its maximum before before the strain in steel reaches its maximum so always we should avoid an over reinforced section it is safe to have an balanced section uh, it is safe to have a balanced section and it is very much safer to have a under reinforced section but never go for an over reinforced section because here in an over reinforced section the strain in concrete reaches its maximum and as a result the brittle failure takes place and which should be avoided so here i could write xu is xu for an over reinforced section xu is greater than xu limit so this is the very much basic understanding of your balanced under reinforced and over reinforced now here if i draw the if i draw the stress diagram if i draw the stress variation here i could get it like this if i draw the stress variation i'll get it like this that is up to here it will be straight line 0.446 up to here it will be straight line then it will be parabolic then it will be parabolic right so this part this straight part that is 3 by 7 xu and the remaining part is 4 by 7 xu and here the tensile force is t is acting here and a compressive force and a compressive force that is acting at a distance of 0.42 xu 0.42 xu is acting over here so i can write in case of an under reinforced section xu less than xu limit ast less than ast limit strain in concrete 
when the strain in concrete is 0 0.0035 strain in steel is greater than 0.87 fy by es plus 0 0.002 that means the steel gets elongated even beyond 0 0.002 plus 0.87 fy by es value leading to the gradual increase of strain in concrete up to 0 0.0035 and shifting of the neutral axis is upward direction and finally to failure. Such sections are always considered due to failure of here the steel gets elongated even beyond 0 0.002 plus 0 0.87 FY by ES value leading to gradual increase of strain in concrete. Such section before collapse will deflect much and cracks will be formed that is there will be sufficient alarm before failure here i could write mu is equal to compressive force into lever arm or tensile force into lever arm that is here the mu is here the mu is this is lever arm that is d minus 0.42 xu so i could write i could write mu is equal to c into lever arm or T into lever arm. So if I am writing C, that is it is 0.36 FCK B XU into here this is XU. We have denoted here this is this distance is XU. This distance is XU into XU into D minus into D minus 0.42 XU. This is the case of in case of concrete. If I write in terms of steel, then it is 0.87 Fy AST into D minus 0.42 XU. And definitely these two values, that is, this will be the same, and these two values will be less than MU limit. Moment of resistance corresponding to your balance section, that is, the moment of resistance of a under reinforced section will be less than moment of resistance corresponding to a balance section. So, I could summarize it as here XU less than XU limit, here XU less than XU limit, AST less than ASU limit as well as MU is less than MU limit for an under reinforced section. Now, here in over reinforced section, when I am taking, when I am taking the stress diagram, when I am taking the stress diagram, the corresponding XU I will be marking like this, the XU will be here, XU will be here. And this strain in steel is epsilon s is less than 0 0.002 plus 0 0.87 fy by es and strain in concrete is 0 0.0035. That is I could write over reinforced section at the time of failure I could write strain in concrete is equal to 0 0.0035 strain in steel steel is less than 0 0.002 plus 0 0.87 fy by es in such a case xu is greater than xu limit that is i could say the area of reinforcement provided will be more than that required for a balanced section then the section is called as a then the section is called as a over reinforced section so, so the here in case of an over reinforced section the area of reinforcement provided will be much more than that required for a balanced section that is here xu greater than xu limit as well as ast is greater than ast limit hence the concrete attains maximum value of strain first the steel is still well within the elastic limit so the failure will be due to the crushing of concrete called as the compression failure or operative failure and as a designer we should avoid we should avoid this kind of failure so in such cases when XU is greater than XU limit, we will not provide or we will not go up to XU greater than XU limit. That is in such cases, in such cases where XU is greater than XU limit, which is not allowed. So here we restrict, we restrict or we will keep XU to XU limit. That is XU is kept limited to XU limit. XU is kept limited to xu limit and mu will be limited to mu limit that is when xu is limited to xu limit here mu is limited to 
AMU limit. AMU is limited to AMU limit. So that I could write, I could write moment of resistance. I could write the moment of resistance, the moment of resistance of a over reinforced section. Reinforced section is equal to MU limit. MU limit. So this this is a very much basics of your this is a very much basics of your over reinforced, balanced, and under reinforced section. So I'll just summarize it. I'll just summarize it. You have a balanced section here marked in red color where the corresponding neutral axis is XU limit. When the reinforcement is reduced, the neutral axis will gradually shift towards the upside, and that is denoted by this blue color here. This is XU here. XU here is the neutral axis corresponding to an under reinforced section. At that time, at the time of failure, at the time of failure, your strain in concrete is less than 0 0.0035, but the strain in steel will be strain in steel will be its maximum. That is, when the strain in concrete reaches its maximum, strain in steel will be somewhere here. The strain in steel will be somewhere here. This strain is called as residual strain. The strain is called as residual strain. Residual strain. And this strain will also be used for your or will be take, used for taking the load. And in case of I am increasing the AST greater than that required for a balanced section or a limiting section, then the neutral axis will get shifted towards the bottom side. And this is your new neutral axis. The neutral axis will get shifted to your new bottom side here. XU is greater than your XU limit. But such section should be avoided because such section fails as brittle failure. And as a result, we will limit the value for your XU to XU limit when it is an over reinforced section. So, hope you are clear with the basics of your under reinforced, over reinforced, and balanced section. That is, as a designer, we should always prefer an under reinforced or an balanced section. We should not go for a over reinforced section. So now, now we will now we will move on to the numericals. That is, there are two types of numericals. One is the analysis of a given section. The next one is design of a section. In the analysis of the given section, in the analysis of a section, in analysis problems, you will be given the material properties that is the grade of concrete, the grade of steel, and the cross-sectional properties that the width, breadth, and the AST area of steel will be given. You are asked to find the moment carrying capacity or the moment of resistance of the section or the allowable load that the section can take. That is all the design things will be given. That is the AST will be given the section properties that is the width, breadth, everything will be given. You are asked to, you, are, you will need to find the moment of resistance or the load carrying capacity of this section. Design of a section, you will be given, you will be given the beam span, the beam end condition, the width of the beam, with the, uh, sometimes the width of the beam may not be given, the spacing of the beams, concrete grade of concrete, reinforcement grade, embossed load of the slab or your, the ultimate moment acting on the beam etc will be given you need to find out you need to find out you need to find out the area of steel required AST you need to fix the width of the beam you need to fix the depth of the beam you need to fix the number of bars all those things you need to find out number of bars all those things you need to find out that is the design problem so we will start with the analysis of a single reinforced section that is first we will start with the analysis of a single reinforced section so this class we will wind up with this now the next class we will see the analysis of a single reinforced section